Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first episode of the Vespa, the 1984 Vespa. I'm going to take you through some of the prep stages. We're going to get all these pieces prepped up today. I'm going to drop you on time lapses, but I'll talk you through the bits I'm going to use, how I'm going to do it, and then you'll see it in the time lapses. And I'll give you talk throughs on the stages. So the bits we can use today, we've got like flat blocks. I've got a DA sander as well. I've got like a flat wheel on a grinder. We've got different grades, 241, 80 and 80. I've cut out some small discs as well. So I can put these and put these on the drill. So any intricate pieces, like getting in round sort of these bits in here, we can go in with the drill and just clean all this steel up. Now, the first thing we're gonna do on this is take out all this light surface rust, knock all this back with the 80, go round, clean it all up, all underneath, all round, then we'll finish off with the 180, all done. Blow it all off, give it a good degreaser and clean it all down. I've got the temperature in the studio warming up so we can keep it nice and warm. So keep all this nice and dry. And then we're gonna go in with some filler work, do some light filler work where there's some little tiny little dinks here, a few little bits. We can do some fiberglassing on this bit from the inside up, and just fill these two little holes in here. So I'll do a fiberglass pass underneath of this get that done and then this will be good for the first coat of primer so that will be that same with these pieces same with all these pieces here we're going to knock and sand all these back so we're going to aim to get all the prep done in today's video and then in part two i'll take you through the primer stages so enjoy the video and i'll see you at the end when all this is all prepped see you in a bit guys surface rust off any bits where there was like sort of little pitting and the surface rust has gone in went in with a wire brush on the drill and just dug it in and cleaned all this steel work up so we've got rid of all the overspray of primer where there's been a patch welded in so all the surface rust on these little pitters is all gone all round all nice and smooth all the way down the front all the way underneath So that's good for the next stage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just give this a wipe down. I've been brushing it with a painter's brush with the extractor on and just brushing it down. Instead of blowing it while I'm doing it, just creating more and more dust. Just lightly brush it down as you go along. So the next stage, I'm going to mix some filler up and just go round. There's a few little dinks. This is, basically these get really, really rippled over their time. And to, to get this completely flat, I think you'd have to completely put a new piece in to make it absolutely flat. I don't want to go skimming too much filler in here because it has weight on it. So just gonna be some light skims where the pitters are on that. There's a little dink here to the front. We've got a little skim in there. There's a little one here. We're gonna drop that bit in now, but the rest is okay. These little pitters here, I'll put a little skim in on this piece around there. We'll clean all that down 
do the filler work, then I can sand down and block that down and then we'll get it up into its first coat epoxy over the top. Job done. So I'll see you in the next step. guys we are moving on to the side panels why the primer the filler dries on them bits on the frame i just want to show you this as it's been painted in aerosols now this is what you get when it is badly painted in aerosols in its life this is just flaking off so all this has got to come off every bit this is just all flaking off and this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing when it comes to paintwork and you just tosh aerosols over panels and don't key your surfaces up correctly this is what's going to happen to you guys if you do this sort of thing. So I'm going to crack on with these, get all this crap paint off, then we'll sand all this down and get it correctly done. So I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, I've sort of pressed on. The last stage you see me, I was just talking you through the horrendous side panels and you see me just picking off sheets and sheets of paint. Now this is the paint that came off and as you can see how thick this is, it's just loads and loads of years of aerosols being thrown at this scooter and you have to take it all off before you can even start to repaint or primer these things. So I peeled all that paint off the side panels and then I hit them in 80 grit and I've gone I went back to the original black because that's the original black there and then you've got the primer and then it goes straight down to bare metal so you've gone to the original and then you have all the dodgy filler work that this thing's had in its life so you start digging all that out because it's all sunk so I've dug all that out refilled where the dents were in here so this one's good to go. So it's been skimmed here and here. We've got the inside of these to do as well because the inside's not been looked after just like the exterior. So all the inside's got to be cleaned off and that'll be bedlined. So a nice thick coat of bedline on the insides of these. The front mud guard was dinked all the way down here and dinked all the way on this crease line here as you're coming over there was dinks that have been hitting it all all in its life here dinks all down here there was dents here so that's been filled same with this panel peel all the paint off that people have been putting on skimmer filler here we've got a couple of bits to do here and then we've got the interior of that one to do the toolbox door two dents in it they've been filled Horn cast, that was the only piece, the one piece that sanded up and is ready for primer. So that was the easiest piece. We moved on to the head, top of the handlebars and someone has just basically painted over. And when I sanded back, there is a big split in this. So this has got to be all sorted out and fiberglassed. So that's tomorrow. That one's all been wire sanded down. So that's ready for primer. Moving on to the frame. You've seen I was going around with a 
DA disc, 80 grit. I went in with the wire, little wire um, wall thing on the front of the drill and went round and just buzzed over and cleaned all the surface rust up on this. Then I started looking at it and seeing all the filler work. So there's little pitters. So I've done a little skim in here. I've done the skim in here. I've done a repair from the inside of the mud guard because there was two holes in here. So that was fiberglass on the inside. And then a little dot of filler over and filled. Two dents on here, they've been sorted. There was a couple of dinks in this. That's had a second skim of filler. Dink along here. That's his second pass, that'll be sending out tomorrow. There was little pitters in here. There's bits that have been welded on these sides, both sides, so that's had a little skim. And then when you move to these leg shields, they are all like it, guys. When you look down them, they just ripple all the way along. Now, to take all them ripples out, you would either be putting a 10 mil skim of filler all the way along the bottom of that, just to get it at one level. And I don't want to do that because you know what filler's like, you put too much in. This is where weight sits when people are standing on it. You get people sitting on the back putting weight on these and filler will just crack. So I've just followed the contours of the, the foot plate piece here, filled the little pitters in, cleaned all these pitters out, skimmed them, so they're good to go. There was a dent in the front here, that's been filled and done. Pitters down here, they've all been filled and wire brushed all underneath. So that's where we are. Just want to say, if you do take one of these on, this is a Vespa, it's the same with Lambrettas. When they were made like in Italy, where they come from, they're great because they're in a warm climate and they just last a lot longer. The minute these things come over to the UK and they're in our shitty weather, they just rot and they get passed along their lives, owner to owner to owner. And everybody chucks a bit of filler at it, a bit of primer at it, a bit of aerosol at it. They just get caked in all types of paint. So the best thing to do is get it to sort of this to start off. But then you start seeing all the little imperfections and you can just, I could keep going around this for days and days and days and days just to get everything completely perfect but i've not got the time on this job to do this as a full resto like showroom finish this is a tidy up nice tidy up and a repaint for the customer so that's where we are so yeah just be warm warm guys when you do take these on you're opening up a can of worms because everyone i've had it's been a can of worms. So yeah, that's where we are. We've got more prep to do. You can see the state of the studio. Absolutely, Kate. I will see you in the next episode when we continue on with the prep. We'll move on to the side panels again, finish them off, sort the front mud guard out. And then we're gonna start getting this in the first stages of like the epoxy. We've got the casing over there to re to fix and sort that out so yeah all little fiddly bits but i'm just trying to get it all sort of up to one stage where it's all prepped before i even took any paint so thanks for watching don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification if you're liking the content and then you won't miss out on the, the more episodes coming up and i'll see you in tomorrow's video guys cheers